G'day there. Arnie here again from Arnie's Shack. And this is... Bible Buddies. Uh, great to have you and your family back as we investigate and discover more about our amazing God and how much he loves us all. I was reading an interesting verse in my Bible this morning. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15:58. Uh, so, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, be strong and immovable. Uh, always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. The story I have today comes from a book called Peddling the Gospel. It is set back in the year 1888 and begins when Joseph and Julius Steed lived in Norwood, South Australia. Joseph and Julia heard about a man named John Corliss, a Seventh-day Adventist who had traveled all the way from America to tell people about Jesus and let them know that Jesus was coming back. After hearing what John had said, Julia decided that she wanted to follow Jesus and be baptized. And then Joseph left his family business and was also baptized. Joseph was so excited about what he had discovered about Jesus, he wanted to share this with others. So, he filled his bag with books that John Corliss and his friends had written, climbed on his bike, and started going door to door, giving out tracts, giving Bible studies, and selling books. This didn't bring in much money. Sometimes Julia had to sell some of their furniture to buy food for the family. They went from having a business and plenty of money to living in a tent in the desert in Broken Hill. Julia, Joseph, and their children lived in a tent for two years. Julia even had their fourth child while they were living in the tent. That would have been very difficult for them, but that was what they were prepared to do so that Joseph could continue to help people meet Jesus. There is more to this story. I will tell you about it next time. I can be fun camping in a tent, Ah, but living in one for two years with four children in the desert, ah, that would have been difficult. Ah, but as they said, ah, they were prepared to do whatever they needed to to help others to learn about and come to know Jesus. Ah, as it says in 1 Corinthians 15, 58, ah, So my dear brothers and sisters, ah, be strong and immovable. Ah, always work enthusiastically for the Lord. Uh, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Uh, anyway, our time is up for today, uh, but I will look forward to catching up with all of you again next time on Bible Buddies. So take care, stay safe, and God bless. Learn about our wonderful God each day. Stop, stop, stop.